but nothing Phone One has finally launched and orders are shipping out. I'm Tor, and this is my unboxing of the Nothing Phone One. I just got this recently, hot off the press. It's in the box. Let's have an unboxing and let's see how awesome it actually is. Are you ready? I can't wait, man. This is gonna be exciting. This is like, this is like, what the? It's nothing. What the fuck? Like, like. Come on, what did you guys expect? I mean, did you want a phone in there or something? We're talking about nothing. You know, the company gives you nothing. I mean, if you want something, you can probably get a D brown skin, right? Look, okay, look, I'm just pissing with you. I'm just joking. So, like, so, there you go. There it is. It's the nothing phone one. Uh, this is the white version. Uh, it's actually the 8 gig slash 256 gig model. I did pre order the 12 gig, but that was delays and it got cancelled. And so I'm like, screw it. I'll just get the 8 gig one. And yeah, uh, I love the packaging here. This is like, this takes me back to the one plus one days when got the first one plus one. You're like, wow, that's really different. You know, it's that same square shape. It's flat. You got a hint of the design elements here on the top, right? The branding, nothing. All right, phone one. And down below, it continues around like just a screw hole in the designs around the edges. It's nothing. This is the... So technically, the phone one is the A063, which is the actual model. Um, continue around the edges. They got that cool red, you know, pull tab that we've seen that for the OnePlus uh, stuff in in the past. Continues around to the edges, and you got more of that cool, uh, the sort of design, you know, on the back with the glyph stuff on it. Um, all right, you know, on the back, nothing much there. I got mine from the UK store. And so this is actually assembled in China. Now I believe uh, people who are buying them from India, like via Flipkart, um, they're actually getting the assembled in, in India. So it's like the Indian models out in India, whereas I guess the rest of the world is China. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any, any difference in some of those QC issues that we're reading about. Let's crack her open. That nice satisfying tearing sound and <gasps> da, 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 da. okay so inside we have two sort of chambers one on the left for the is for the actual phone and the right looks like they've got all the accessories so let's there's a little tab that we can pull it out and we have yeah, accessories okay I'm going to that and then this is aha the nothing phone one da 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 so that looks pretty sweet now and like the plastic is just literally melted to the phone or something i mean i'm not kidding like that ah, okay there we go there it is nothing there but yeah the white with all the glyph you got the glyph lights you got that you can see the details i was torn between the white and the black i love the black just because you could see the glyphs but i i kind of was more swayed to the white personally just for a change of scene you know like on the white just how the actual details show up a bit more so i think if you're looking to get this for yourself you know the white to me seems good you're showing the the sort of transparent and the design element, the black is good for actually, you know, really showcasing the glyph interface and all that. Uh, accessories, where we got the accessories. This is gonna be all the same stuff, right? We've got the, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's like a, it's like a sewing kit. So you got the SIM pin, so this is quite cool. I mean, it's like a little, it's a sort of just a transparent little little pin but it's pretty elegant you know something different than just a normal metal we've got oh, i've got an actual usb-c the usb-c cable so this is our obviously it's just a white one um it's not you know it's not braided or anything that, that'd be nice it's a shame um one of the black phones got a black one as well like or is it white and the black one that'd be interesting um if you got a black one let me know in the comments like does the black phone have a black cable or is it white as well? And this is just a standard, you know, health and safety information. 
So yeah, so there you go. Woohoo, nothing. Uh, powering on. Now, in addition to the actual phone, I did manage to get the clear case. Um, nothing phone one case. Uh, there's no case. Uh, phone one case. And this is pretty, again, it's, it's, it's a pretty minimal branding. You can kind of tell it's a case just because it's got this very slight bump cut out on it. I've also got the screen protector. If you look at that from a box, the design, you know, these are very, very um, minimalist uh, kind of design elements, right? Very, very simple, uh, yeah, which is cool, dig it. Um, so let's look at the case. Again, you got the whole tab, pull tab. To, yeah. Take that out. This is, I got the clear case here. This is the clear case. Don't know, it's a bit of a, it's a sort of plastic on the back and it's a bit kind of rubberized on the sides there. Oh, that's gonna... So it's, you know, it's kind of good. That'll protect it. And because it's transparent, you're, you know, not losing the design element. I think I think the whole reason of something like the Nothing Phone is to see that design, and it's, it seems like a real shame to cover it with like a a sort of solid case. You know, or I've seen some like skins where they have, you know, um, some sort of texture on the skins, but they they have cutouts for the actual glyph interface. But you're basically just covering the entire phone just to show the glyph, and it's like, eh, okay, so it's kind of like. Well, then why bother buying the phone then? Because the whole point of this is you want to enjoy the design and they've gone through a lot of trouble to make this design. So you want to show it off. I mean, why cover it? Yeah, I don't know, but at least they're own, right? So yeah, the case looks good. Um, let's do the, uh, this is the screen protectors. This is the glass protector. Oh, well, actually, that reminds me. Is it's hard to see, but there is a pre-applied normal screen protector on the phone, which is which is cool. So wasn't too sure that would be the case or not. That's good. Uh, like a defective port. The heat in London is just like wreaked havoc everywhere, including unboxings. So there we go. So this is the this should be the like a glass protector. Um, it's got the uh, yeah, it's got like an applicator frame. Uh, these are kind of cool. Um, I always like these. I've, I've done these before of like on OnePlus phones. Uh, I quite enjoy the uh, you know, the experience is pretty good. We've got you know a cloth and a scraper and stuff in there. And all right, temper glass. So this will be the actual. This is the actual glass in there, and instructions behind it. It's good. Um, I'm just say, oh, that's just yeah. So you got the yeah scraper. And you've got a cloth and you've got like a, a dust sticker as well. And to be fair, the actual scraper is actually plastic, which is kind of good. Um, I got one of these like for a Samsung phone and the actual scraper was cardboard. And yeah, it's great because it's recyclable, but it, it, it just falls apart into pieces after a few seconds. So it's good to have actual something hard. You can scrape down this, you know, the protector, smooth the bubbles up and all that. So that's good. So there you go, there you go, folks. There is nothing. Well, there is actually something. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that, if you got any comments on the phone, give me a comment, give a like, a subscribe, and I'll catch you later.